So in this series, I'm really talking about some basics for puppies and how to get the puppy acclimated to things. Watch my other videos that cover a lot of the details, but these are the basic things you're gonna to wanna to know when you have a puppy. And that's gonna be how to condition your dog to all these different things. We talked about the sit, we talked about the down, we talked about the recall, um, we talked about place work and all that. One of the most important things, if not the most important thing you're gonna do with your puppy is crate training. So I showed in the other part of the video how to get the dog used to going to a place and in that place, he learns that there's a reward. So I start that off with place work with something like a bed or a platform or something like that. And then I work into a crate. And his natural curiosity should want him to go in the crate. If not, I'm gonna take a treat and I'm gonna put a treat in the crate and I'm gonna say, yes, good boy. Right, and you notice how happy he is. He sees the treat in my hand, which I just dropped handle error. Um, and I take the treat from my hand and I throw it into the crate. I take the treat from my hand and I put it in the crate. Yeah, good boy. He gets nothing out of me here. Complete dead silence. And let's see if he figures out that the treat's in the crate. Now remember, I've got a treat pouch on. It's got a lot of treats in it. So he's going to smell that, but he's not going to get anything out of it. We're going to maybe lure him back in the crate again. Crate. Good. And again, he's following this. So what I want to kind of figure out is how to get my hands here and go, hey, now there's a whole bunch of treats in there. So now he'll spend more time in there as he sees them and I can start dropping them from the top of the crate and keep him in here and let him see that this is a reward in here, right? That anytime he goes in that crate, it's gonna be a huge reward. Now I'm shooting this outside, so it's a little harder for the puppy, a lot more distractions. If you do this in your room, in your house, it's gonna be totally fine. Good boy. Yeah, crate. Good boy. And he'll look and there happens to be some treats in there. Good boy. Super hard to do this in this distracted of an environment, being outside with a lot of smells and stuff like that. But the puppy is still gonna learn that there's no reward for any other distraction. So if I can do this outside with this puppy, you can do it inside. Come here. Good. Lure him in every time. Notice I haven't closed this door yet. That's the big piece. People put the puppy in the crate, they slam the door shut, they go out and the dog starts screaming and the, you have a disaster. And what you do when that happens is you get the dog out, right? And that's your biggest mistake. So as soon as you take the puppy out of the crate when he's screaming, you've reinforced the screaming to get out. That's not any way to get the dog to go, to learn how to go into a crate. The way to learn, good boy, is show him that there's rewards in the crate and nothing not even Pete playing with the puppy and having a great time is outside of the crate. Everything is inside the crate. When he goes in the crate, here's a hot dog. Good, crate. Yeah, good boy. He comes out, nothing. Zilcho. Yeah, good boy. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep putting these treats. Whoopsie daisies, that fell out. Oopsie daisy is a dog training term that I've coined and I'm working on a trademark for. Good boy. There. He's finding these little pieces of hot dog. Good boy, yeah. I'm praising him, good boy. It's raining hot dogs into his crate. Right, it can, everything positive is happening in this crate. And now for the first time that he's in the crate, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna feed him, but I'm gonna close this door. Now I'm not latching it, I'm just closing it. Good boy, he's still gonna find these hot dogs on the floor, there's still plenty of them. But he has to see that this crate is the happiest place on earth. Right, I'm pointing to the little hot dogs down here. Remember, the crate is closed. He doesn't even know it's closed yet because he's so looking for these hot dogs. Good boy. Good. So as you see, the puppy is in the crate. The door is closed. We have no issues at all with this going on. He actually just keeps looking for these treats to come raining in which is what we want him to do. We want him to know that the crate is a good place. Now for the first time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna latch this crate here. For the first time, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I'm gonna say, yeah, that's a good boy. Remember, all your praises are for this dog being in the crate. What I would want you to watch really carefully is when I open this crate door for the first time. So this is the first time it's been latched, right? He doesn't even know that it's latched, but he knows he's in this crate and amazing, great things are happening. He's eating treats. I'm talking to him. What a good boy. What a good boy. That when I unlatch this crate, watch what happens. 
when he comes out, he's going to get ignored. So here, he's naturally going to think, okay, why don't I come out and see what this guy does? I do nothing. Right? There's no reward for him coming out of the crate. It's a complete zero interaction because this phase is crate training. During crate training, all his rewards come from inside that crate. It'll take you a little while to do. It'll take you a couple hours to start with and a couple days to get it really perfected. But he's going to see that the crate, he should naturally try to get in this crate. Yeah, good boy, because that's where the treat is coming from. I want my dog, yeah, good boy, to be very happy to be in that crate. And during this part of the interaction, he's getting positive rewards and interaction only when he's in this crate, not when he comes out, right? This is when I mark the behavior by verbally cueing it. And also, there's tons of treats in there. He's stepping on one of them now. And he's hunting in there and hunting and hunting for treats. And there will always, always be treats in there for my puppy when we're doing crate training. So here's the big secret. How do we keep the dog in the crate? We give him something in there that's going to take time to figure out, like an interactive toy, like a Kong. I put it in here, and when he goes in there, he's going to go all the way in. I'm going to close this, and it's going to take him quite some time to figure out this Kong. This Kong is loaded with treats and, 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 and food and everything that's going to keep him focused on being in there, this being a positive interaction, keep him going, and then, settle, and then he'll settle down. So, puppies in the crate, we did a great long training session with this puppy. He had a great time. I hope this puppy gets a dynamite home. I hope all puppies get a dynamite home, no matter where you get your dog from, whether you rescue, whether you buy, or wh whether you bred your own dog. Um, give your puppy structure. Your puppy needs it. Your puppy will thrive through it. You will do the best thing for your puppy so that when he becomes an adult dog, he's a very, very well-behaved dog like you see with all my dogs in all my videos. Thank you, mister. So let's take him out of here. Good boy. And we're going to send you off. You're going to be adopted really soon. You're going to get a beautiful home. We're going to say a prayer that you get a really good home and a good family because you're a very, very good dog. Don't ever do this with your puppy. Don't put your mouth by your puppy because your puppy's going to bite you. I'm doing it because I'm just showing you what not to do. I'm going to put a big red X over here. Don't do this with your puppy. They're, they're playful, they're lovable, but they need structure. Affection comes at the end, not during training. Good. You have a happy life, buddy. Go.